a few people had asked about a bit of a setup video to see uh, my gear and how things are set up and how I record. There's going to be planes flying over for people that don't come to my live stream or know. I live right near an airport, so it's very, very difficult to record during the daytime. Uh, again, I don't do this as my job. This isn't my job, so I'm lucky enough to not have to deal with that 24 hours a day. But anyway, I thought I'd do a bit of a video and show you how uh, my gaming setup works, how my systems are set up, etc., etc. So let's jump into it. So first thing we'll show, what do we got here, man? We got a couple of games sitting on a bench. Uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 tablet, really, really nice tablet, really fast, great resolution on the screen as well. Um, this is the PC, this is the first PC, so this is a mini ITX system. It's in a BitPhoenix Prodigy case, it's got a i7 40, 4790K, 4690K. It's like the top of the range 1150 i7, that's what's sitting in there. Um, 8 gig of RAM. It's got eight terabytes worth of hard drive space. It's also got 240 gig SSD. It's got a GDX 670 in it. That's my media system. So that's the one I have all my movies on. It's also the one I do all my editing, photo editing, graphics work, 3D work, and things like that. That's all on that particular system. So that's him, little baby. What else have we got here? We've got an Elgato. That's the original Game Capture HD sitting under there. That's hooked up to this system. So if I do have this running and I want to play a game, I can just quickly uh, pull a clip out or a highlight. If I'm playing Black Ops or Destiny, something funny happens, I can just run the flashback software on that and pull clips out. There's a 700 gig um, USB 3 hard drive there, just in case I need it to swap save games on the consoles or just transfer files between something. This is, of course, an HDD caddy. So if you don't have one of these and you fix PCs or if you work on PCs, you really should have one of these. These are a great way to just pop a hard drive in. You can dump all the data, clone it, do whatever you need to do. Really, really handy. This one takes three and a half inch disc and two and a half inch discs. It's also got some uh, USB three ports on there and it's also got an SD card reader. So really, really handy. On to the main system. Now, this is one I'm sure a lot of people want to see. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen this before. I did put some really nice pictures up, but this is the first video I've done of it. So this is my main gaming PC, all built by me. So everything here is built by me. I don't get them built. I don't get them given to me. I've got to build them all, but this is it. So this one still runs fairly old hardware in it as far as a CPU. It's still got an i7 2600k in there so it's an older cpu but it's still fantastic just for gaming uh, the graphics card is fairly up to date it's a asus strix gdx 970 uh, really really good graphics card smashes pretty much or anything i throw at it if we're getting closer you can see the look at that water man it's, it's moving and doing stuff so that's an ek reservoir right there so how the loop works is the water sits in there of course it gets sucked up this tube into the pump. The pump then forces it down this tube into the radiator. It goes through the radiator and then it goes out here, gets pumped into the water block and then that goes across all these little copper channels and then comes back out into the, the reservoir and then repeats the loop again. So basically how it works is water into the radiator the radiator spreads the water out over a greater surface area, which in turn cools it down. Then it comes out. The cool water goes into the hot side of the chip. It comes out, and then the hot water comes out of this tube, repeats the loop, and cools down again. So that's it. Graphics card isn't cooled by water because these are really, really nice cards. This one has... Let's see if I can get in there. It's got a feature where the fans, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, the fans don't turn on unless they need to. So the fans on this graphics card are very rarely on. I can play Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, max settings 1080p, 60 frames a second, no issues, and the fans don't turn on. So this graphics card is cooled extremely well um, just by the actual the, the blocks that are on it. The fans will only come on if you're playing something that really demands a lot out of the graphics card. So it means it's very, very quiet all of the time. Uh, of course, we've got an Elgato Gaming. 
HD60 Pro, which is their new PCIe uh, PCIe capture card down there. So that one will let you capture uh, 1080p 60 frames a second. So definitely check one of those out if you are interested in capturing the videos and the games. <laughs> but yeah, we've got all EK parts. So it's an EK res, uh, EK full nickel block. It's the new uh, EK... I think they're a D, it's a D5 PWM with the new high flow front on it from EK. Uh, of course, it's got an EK240 rad, EK fans all around as well. Uh, the tubing is Primo Flex, Primo Chill, Primo something. Primo Flex Advanced LRT, I think it's called. It's, it's, it's good stuff, man. It was supposed to be blue, but it looks more purple than blue. All the fittings are bits power compression fittings. Those things are expensive, man. Like if you ever get into water cooling and you uh, <laughs> you add up the price of just those fittings, it's ridiculous. It's an expensive hobby, but it's very cool. The system's very quiet and it stays very cool 24-7. It's in a uh, NZXT S340 Razor Edition case. The lights and stuff aren't really to my taste. I can turn them off, but the reason I got the Razor Edition is because it's matte. The standard edition of this case is black gloss and it looks awful. So the Razor edition, you can see, is this really nice matte finish. Looks fantastic. What else is hiding up here, man? Look at this. This is an Xbox One um, wireless controller adapter right there. So they will allow you to use your Xbox One controllers wirelessly. And I'm using that one with the uh, Xbox One Elite controller right now. It works really well. Got a couple of wireless adapters there for my Rapu wireless mouse and keyboard, which live down here. This is a really cool keyboard. This is a Rapu uh, wireless backlit mechanical keyboard. That's right, it's wireless backlit and mechanical. So if I just hit a, a button here, you can see it lights up. Nice white backlight there. Really, really good if you've got like a media setup or if you just wanted something you can just lay in bed and use. Really, really good. Keys are a little bit closely spaced when you tie it but it's still a really good keyboard uh, and i think you're not going to find anything on the market that's like that wireless mechanical backlit rapu mouse it's just a very basic mouse there so that just lets me do the the micing the mousing we've got a uh hp 16 port gigabit network switch there and another plane coming over i don't know whether the plane will be louder or whether i'll be louder so how this works is the main router is up in the house, have a cable that comes down and goes in, and then all the other cables loop out to like the PlayStation and two PCs, and it basically just repeats the signal and will assign IP addresses to all the other gear. So it means you don't need to run multiple leads, or it means you don't have to run wireless to everything. Um, there is a wireless setup here, so if we go back across here, um, a cable comes out of that switch and goes up to this which is a wireless N um, wireless access point. So that gives me a private Wi-Fi network down here that runs off that, that network switch. That's a high school of dead post that I made up years and years ago. <laughs> but yeah, so that one gives me private uh, network access down here. Um, private Wi-Fi access, I should say, for my tablet, my phone, anything else that I just wanted, quick wireless access. Or any friends that come around and they want to use uh, the internet on their phone, they can just get access to that. These are my HDMI switches, so these allow me to uh, take a signal in and then split it. Basically what it does is you have one signal in, four signals out, so it will uh, times the signal by four. So if you have, let's say, the one on the left here, uh, that's got the PlayStation running into it, and then it goes out to a monitor, then it goes out to one capture card out to another capture card so that's actually splitting the playstation signal three times this other one is for my main pc so i have the main pc plugged into the input i then have one monitor on an output and i have my television on another output so that means i can use my tv as a computer monitor so over here we've got my monitor set up i use twin um 27 inch samsung uh, 3D 120 hertz monitors, really really good uh, monitors for gaming. They've got a funky design where they sort of just float like that, so the hinge is on that side and then the whole thing just floats. Uh, I don't think it was a very popular design because they're very easy to break. Uh, this one I actually picked up uh, second hand, it was quite cheap compared to a new one and the hinge is a little saggy so I have to put a cup under it, but uh, that's the setup for the monitors. 
Uh, the left one is the PS4 at the moment, and the right one is the PC. Got a PlayStation 4 that lives down there. The microphone I use is an AT2020 USB Plus microphone. It's on a Rode PSM1 arm. Uh, it's got an eBay shock mount on there as well. What else is on the desk, man? Astro Mix Amp. Astro A40 headset with some custom tags I made ages ago with one of my really old logos on there. Uh, PlayStation 4 controller with control feet, control feet, control freak grips, control freak galaxy um, control freaks on there as well, which I really, really like for FPS. Use the code MasterKids for 10% off your next order. Um, that's the Xbox One Elite controller that I won recently. There was a competition for some artwork for Xbox. I entered and I won, so they sent that out. So I was absolutely stoked to win that. Uh, keyboard there, it's just a standard 10 keyless um, CM Storm with Cherry Reds, got a custom key set from WASD Keyboards, Razer Destructor mouse pad, I think it's a, it's like a CM65 or something like that, I think they're called like a Stormtrooper mouse from Corsair, laser mouse, I don't really like the laser mouse, I'd rather something optical, but that's about it, that's my setup, oh we got like gaming trinkets, gadgets, things up there, Marcus Phoenix statue, a couple of Dark Souls books, art books, stack of control freaks I gotta give away, Destiny gear, another capture card, a mysterious box with more water cooling fittings in it, heaps of stuff man. But anyway, that's my setup. That's where I play the games, that's where I sometimes make the videos and do the streams. That's the PC that I'm sure you wanna see and I'm sure you wanna own. <laughs> I like the look of that PC man, I really like how that turned out. That's it. That's my setup. If you've got any questions about it, about anything you saw there, about how things work, how things connect, if you want to set something up similar in your place, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Look how ugly this floor is too, man. This is a very old house. This is like a 150-year-old house or something. This floor is just concrete with paint on it. So ghetto. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a setup vid. Never done one before, but I thought I'd make one and... Uh, Show you how I live, dog. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you later.